Hello and welcome back friends. Uh, in this scenario three of the file-based automation workflows, we will look at uh, uh, how to use the schedule starting source uh, to import data uh, from the FTP folder. Um, so first we will look at like, you know, the compressed and encrypted uh, data file. We have the products.zip.pgp that we used in scenario one, uh, but instead of using the file drop, we'll go ahead and try it with the scheduled uh, starting source. Now, uh, one advantage of using the schedule source, uh, starting source, is that you get this option called one once, uh, which you don't get with the file drop. Uh, you we will shortly see like how to use this option to you know to do the testing of the automation workflow. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and, and see the configuration. So we've defined a uh, fictitious uh, schedule here. Um, we have actually seen how to like define the schedule starting source in one of our previous videos. So I'll go out from there. And we've kept it as pause because we're not going to run this on the schedule. We're going to test it using one once later. Okay. The file transfer will be the first activity that we're going to do. Uh, it's going to like you know uh, take the uh, the encrypted and the zip file. Uh, it will unzip it and decrypt it. And then uh, the the tar the file location it's going to look for is the default import folder on the enhanced FTP. Okay, so let me cancel out of there. Uh, the second one is the import file. Uh, this is the same uh, import uh, activity that we did in the scenario one. So as you can see, like you know, the the advantage of like configuring it and, and storing it as an import activity, you can reuse it in multiple automation workflows. We used it in scenario one. Now we're using it in scenario three as well, right? So it looks for the product that CSV file from the safe house, uh, and then it updates the product catalog data extension. So that's about the, the configuration part. Uh, let's go ahead quickly make sure our product catalog data uh, extension is empty. Yep, record comment is zero. Uh, and then in the activity tab, uh, there's previous run, so we can ignore that for now. Ensure our email address is uh, updated. Uh, we can go ahead and click one once. So when you uh, have schedule uh, automation workflows, you can use this one once option to go ahead and either run all of these steps within the automation or maybe you know just portions of it like let's say if you only want to do the import you can go ahead and run that uh, it will run as long as uh, you know the inputs and the output uh, is generated successfully it will go ahead and run that in our case we want to do all the activities so we'll go ahead and select everything and then click on one uh, this confirmation screen will in, uh, confirm like let's say you had like four or five of which you only want to run three and you want didn't want to run two of them then they would actually show up in this do not run these activities column here so in our case, we just have two activities which are going to be run, uh, and then uh, our email address, uh, making sure like you know this is the email address that will get notified if there's an error or if the run completes successfully. Okay, let's go ahead and click uh, Run now, and then it will confirm that okay it started to run. Uh, unlike the uh, file drop, it may take a few minutes, but here yeah, it's uh, luckily it's just running quickly uh, in our case, so it just started running right here. Uh, it may take a minute or two to like you know, complete that, so I'll just pause and come back uh, for it to complete. All right, folks. So there you see that you know both the activities have been completed, uh, the file transfer and the import uh, file. So let's go ahead and confirm like it was uh, product catalog was zero. Uh, we should be having about 126 records. There you go. It's all updated uh, successfully. So this is how you actually use these the schedule. Um, a starting source uh, with the automation workflow and if you uh, want to do an ad hoc test uh, maybe parts of it uh, this is one way to do it like using the run once option which is not available on the file drop okay hopefully this was helpful uh, we will look at scenario number four uh, which is the next one uh, where we will just uh, import using a regular csv file from the ftp but this time again using the the schedule starting source hope this was helpful thank you for watching